In this video, we will discuss section 4-4, part 2, day 2, introducing factoring. In order to factor when a is 1 and c is positive, you first have to list all the numbers that multiply to c. So you're listing all the numbers that are a multiple of that letter c which if c is positive, as it will be in our examples today, it would be a positive times a positive or a negative times a negative. Then you're going to determine which pair of numbers adds to equal b. So which set of numbers adds to equal that middle number b. And then finally, you're going to fill those two numbers into your two terms or your factors. In our first example, we have to find first all the numbers that multiply to the last number or to the 27 and all the numbers that add to the value of B or the middle number, which is 12. So if I start by listing my numbers that multiply so 27, I first can do 27 divided by positive 1, which gives me 27. So I have 1 and 27. And now we again have to check the negatives. So 27 divided by negative 1 gives me negative 27. So negative 1 and negative 27. The next number will be 2. So 27 divided by 2 is a decimal, so it doesn't work, and neither would the negative version. 27 divided by 3 gives me 9, so I have 3 and 9, and now I check the negative version. So 27 divided by negative 3 is negative 9. Then I can do 27 divided by 4, which is the decimal, so it doesn't work, and neither would the negative version. 27 divided by 5 is a decimal, so it doesn't work, and neither would the negative version. 27 divided by 6 is a decimal, so it doesn't work, and neither with the negative version. 27 divided by 7 is a decimal, so it doesn't work, and neither with the negative version. 27 divided by 8 is a decimal, so it doesn't work, and neither with the negative version. And the next number we would check would be 9, which we've already discussed, meaning that we have already have listed all the possibilities. Now, we want to determine which of these numbers add to equal positive 12. So if I check the first one, I'd have 1 plus 27 equals 28. Negative 1 plus negative 27 equals negative 28. If I had 3 and 9, so 3 plus 9 equals 12. And negative 3 plus negative 9 equals negative 12. Now the question is asking us to determine which set of numbers adds to 12. The first one adds to 28, so it doesn't work. Then it adds to negative 12, so it doesn't work. The next one adds to positive 12, so it works. And the last one adds to negative 12, so it doesn't work. Meaning that the set of numbers that works is the 3 and 9. So if I'm filling in my factors, it's always x or your variable and x, and then we're filling in numbers from the pair that works. So in this case, we have a 3. So I can fill in a 3, and since there is no subtraction sign, I assume it's positive, so it's plus 3. And my other number is 9. So I can fill in a 9, and since there's no symbol, I assume it's positive, so it's plus 9. So your answer, or your factors, would be x plus 3 times x plus 9, which would be identical to if we wrote in the other order, you could also write it as x plus 9 times x plus 3, because like multiplication where 2 times 3 equals 3 times 2, we can switch the orders of our factors.
For the next example, we have to determine which numbers multiply to equal 12 and add to equal negative 8. So if I start by listing the numbers that multiply to 12, you can do 12 divided by 1 gives you 12. So you have 1 and 12. Then I check the negative, so 12 divided by negative 1 gives me negative 12. Then I can do 12 divided by my next number, which is 2. So it's 6. So you have 2 and 6. Then I'm going to check the negative. So 12 divided by negative 2 is negative 6. Then I can do 12 divided by my next number is 3, which is 4. And then I can check the negative, which is negative 4. So negative 3 and negative 4. Now the next number we would check would be 4, which is already listed, so we have all our possibilities. Now we want to determine which set adds to equal negative 8. So if I were to check and I'm adding straight across, 1 plus 12 would equal 13. Negative 1 plus negative 12 would equal negative 13. 2 plus 6 would equal 8. Negative, negative 2 plus negative 6 would equal negative 8. 3 plus 4 would equal 7. And negative 3 plus negative 4 would equal negative 7. So if we're checking which set of those numbers adds to equal that negative 8, 13 doesn't work, negative 13 doesn't work, positive 8 doesn't work, but negative 8 would work, 7 doesn't work, and negative 7 doesn't work. So the set of numbers that multiplies to 12 and adds to negative 8 is negative 2 and negative 6. So if I write them as my factors, I have x, and we're filling in our numbers. So my first number is negative 2, so I can fill in a minus 2, and the second number is negative 6, so you can fill in a minus 6, giving you your final answer of x minus 2 times x minus 6, which similarly, if we want to write in the other order, like we said before, where we could flip, this is the same as saying x minus 6 times x minus 2. However, you only need one of those answers. For our next example, we want to determine all the numbers that multiply to the value c, or that value of 10, and the numbers that add to the value of b, which is negative 11. So if I were to list all my numbers that multiply to 10, I could do 10 divided by 1 gives you 10. So we have 1 and 10, and we can check the negative version. So 10 divided by negative 1 gives us negative 10. So I have negative 1 and negative 10. Then 10 divided by my next number is 2, which gives us 5. And I can divide by negative 2 to check the negative version, which gives me negative 5. Then I can check 10 divided by 3, which is a decimal, so it doesn't work in either of the negative version. And 10 divided by 4, which is a decimal, so it doesn't work in either of the ne negative version. The next number I would use would be 5, which is which we already have considered, so we have all of our possibilities. Then we want to figure out which set of those numbers adds to equal negative 11. So if I were checking, I'm going to add down the list. 
So if I add 1 plus 10 equals 11, negative 1 plus negative 10 equals negative 11, 2 plus 5 equals 7, and negative 2 plus negative 5 equals negative 7. So the set of numbers, in this case, if we're going through and checking, that adds to our negative 11, 11 wouldn't work, negative 11 does work, 7 doesn't work, and negative 7 doesn't work. So the pair of numbers that works is negative 1 and negative 10. So if I write down my factors, you're just filling in your terms. So my first number is negative 1, so it becomes x minus 1, and the next number is negative 10, so it's x minus 10, giving us our answer is x minus 1 times x minus 10, which again, we could, if we use our commutative property, you could also write it as x minus 10 times x minus 1.